Welcome to the Logic Series Video Tutorials Getting Started Guide. This video will help you understand how to transfer patient studies to an external media, as well as how to delete studies from your patient archive. Exporting. Export of patient data is in a DICOM format, which can be reloaded onto the ultrasound system, most PAC systems, or any PC with a DICOM reader. The import selection is used to reload the information back into the system. To export a patient or patients onto external media using either a CD, DVD-R, or USB device, insert the media into your system. Select Patient on the touch screen, and then on the upper monitor, select Data Transfer. Click Export on the left menu and then choose the media type from under the To drop-down. If a disk is being used, the system will do a cell formatting step. The list of patients can be ordered chronologically by clicking on the Last Exam column header. Choose the patient or patients you wish to export and then press Transfer. Once the transfer is finished, the media will need to be ejected using the F3 key. If using a disk, you will need to choose Finalize and Yes. If using a jump drive, eject using the F3 key. To confirm the images are on the disk, Reinsert the disk or USB, select Data Transfer, and then Import. The copied patient names should be on the top of the list. Saving individual images as JPEG or AVI format can be done for presentation or to send home with the patient. If the images need to be anonymized, use the Save As function from the main scan screen. If sending with the patient, use the Save As from the active images. To save images from the active image page, resume or review a study from the archive and choose Active Images in the upper left of the monitor. Highlight the images to be copied from the displayed images or press Select All on the touch screen. Select Save As Images from the left side of the images. Choose the media type on the top of the Save As window. Make sure there are no images in the image buffer and then choose Save. If copying to USB media, you may now eject the drive using the F3 key. If saving to a disk, select Save As Images once more from the left side of the active image page. This time, select Transfer to CD-DVD. The system will self-format the disk and copy the images. Finally, eject using the F3 key and finalize the disk. Then you can check the disk on a PC and confirm if the images are there. To save images without patient information, recall the study and choose an image from the clipboard. In the lower right side of the monitor, choose the Save As icon. At the top of the Save As window, choose the correct destination. If you do not want the patient or institution information on the image, choose Image Only. You may wish to compress an AVI file if the CINE is large. Choose the image type you wish to save, AVI for CINE clips, JPEGs for still images, then select Save. Continue this process for each image you wish to save. If using a USB device, you may now eject the device using the F3 key. If saving to a disk, choose the Save As icon one more time and then select Transfer to CD DVD on the bottom of the window. The system will self-format the disk and copy the images. Finally, eject using the F3 key and finalize the disk. Then you can check the disk on a PC and confirm if the images are there. A recommended practice is to keep the hard drive less than 50% full. You can check how much free space is on your hard drive by hovering over the green circle on the lower left of the patient information page. 
When deleting studies from the hard drive, you must have administrative rights or use ADM for the operator. To list the studies in the order of the last exam the patient had, click on the header Last Exam. Highlight the patient or patients you wish to delete and then select Delete. If deleting multiple patients, you will be asked if you are sure you want to delete them. Choose OK. Thank you for viewing our Logic Series video tutorials. Please come back soon for more tips on using your Logic system.